I did want to talk to you guys about a couple things that's been going on this week. One of the things is we planned on doing the ADSB as you saw in the last video. And I know there's some other videos on YouTube that kind of go into explaining how to do that. We will record it when we get around to it. We wound up spending a little bit of extra time doing the kit box this weekend than intended. So we didn't go to the baby shower. We weren't able to get the ADSB installed as planned, but we still have to get it done. We have Benson days coming up and we have sun and fun coming up. So it is a priority, but this week we are headed to Texas. Uh, if you guys don't know, we do a lot of installations in here, like the Kit Fox and Xena, if you've all seen it before. But what you probably only seen a little bit of is it's kind of an exclusive service that we offer is an on-site installation. Essentially meaning you pay a little bit more, you pay for the airline tickets and we will come to you and we offer our services on site. We will install your engine, be done in about four days. We always plan for five just to be careful. Um, even if we have an extra day, so be it. So that's, that's something that we do offer here and at a really affordable price because a lot of times, especially if you're coming from further away, from anywhere from Maine or Connecticut or Texas or California, it's a lot better for us to come there instead of you trailering your fuselage and everything here and it becomes actually more affordable and you can stay home and you don't have to actually make the trip yourself. So that's something that we do. It's It really is a great service and it gets you ready to fly a little bit quicker. And in this instance and in some other instances that we've done, you know, the swap is gonna, you know, an already flying airplane. So. It already has an engine on it. We're gonna put a different engine in there. We're gonna get it flying. We're gonna do some test flights, make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. Um, and we've done that quite, quite often as well. Um, more or less, we work on the basic fuselage. So that'll be nice. It'll be, I did not expect to be in Texas three times this year, yet here, we're gonna go again. Um, so I guess that makes us honorary Texans, right? So <laughs> we're gonna go out there. There is a huge flying community in Texas of Zenith, um, of any airplanes really, and especially of our Viking engines. So it would be really nice to have a fly in here in the next couple years, maybe in Texas. It's a great central location and everyone can fly in. A lot of people are still finishing up their builds right now. So I'd like to wait till that's done, but that's pretty exciting um, to have a large population in, a, in an area. So same thing with North Carolina, it's relatively the similar in the Carolinas and Tennessee area as well. So that's just what's kind of going on. Um, I'm gonna pop in some videos and show you guys about what happened with the Kit Fox this weekend. It was a nice little weekend project. And um, it's, it's, they've got some covering to do. They've got, they've got some work on their hands left, but the engine aspect is done. And we'll get some more finalized pictures of the cowling once it's all in. Because of the way the Kit Fox is set up, we're not gonna put the cowling on until he has um, a couple more pieces in place. It makes it a little better for fitting and we don't wanna fit it now and then have to refit it later. So we'll get some nice pictures of that. And I got some preliminary pictures that he showed me of the paint job, which is really exciting because it's really, really nice. And I'm looking forward to it. So I think we might have that on a static display at some point at Sun and Fun. Um, possibly flying by Oshkosh, um, who knows, maybe even before then, but like everything always takes a little longer than you expect it to. That's just you know, how things work out when it comes to building an airplane. So the, that's what's going on. Uh, another thing, and I showed you some pictures and talked to you a little bit about, is the 100 horsepower, which is our 90 horsepower that we're turbocharging to be 100 horsepower. It's very important to us, especially when doing aftermarket turbocharging that we do it right. Um, so we're taking a lot of time testing. You know, we wanna be the people to test that, not you guys. So we're gonna be doing a lot more testing on that and we're hoping that by the time the Kit Fox gets to where it needs to be and flown off its 40, we'll be pretty complete with testing and we're gonna add that turbo. And especially for those that already have the 90 horsepower out there and are flying around, um, we'll have a nice bolt-on kit that can go with it because it's really important not just dyno it, say it has a turbo engine and sell it. You know, that's, anybody can do that. Uh, you got a dyno, run it, go ahead. It's really important that we're testing it as well. So I know you guys are antsy about it, but it'll be worth it when it's done. It's better safe, um, we'll get there. It's a lot different than this guy being um, turbocharged directly from the vehicle itself. You know, the engine's already set up with the compression that it needs and everything that it needs to be that turbocharged engine. So more updates will be on that soon. 
A lot of you have asked about the Aventura. We are working on it. Um, as you saw in the last video, we're pretty busy right now. We're really uh, amping up towards flying weather. So everyone's trying to finish their project and it's on the back burner. Uh, we're gonna get there. I think after Benson Days is done and Sun and Fun is done, that'll give us a little bit of time to maybe start working on the Aventura, also on the YX. Um, they're both pretty close to being done and then we'll give you more updates on that. Uh, I guess that's all I got for this week's vlog and I'll talk to you soon. So a bit of an update. Look, everything's gone. It's open again. We got someone stopping in here today. Roger's picking up his, his engine today, so it's gonna leave here. Um, I told you that we were working on that power shoot engine that's also gonna leave here today, and it's ready to go. Other than that, we are all free and clear. Don't look at the light. The not so fun part of cowlings. So we hadn't yet made a cowling for the 90 on the kit box four or three. So uh, this is the start of what will eventually be a mold. So this is your new method? What was your old method? Brushing it on, but then you don't get a nice thick layer. So then on the other side, we're gonna actually capture what we lose and re-pour it a couple of times. Okay, we're getting there. Almost. You have to help. You have to help. You have to help. You have to help. You have to, you have to help. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Kind of another little update that I forgot to mention. Um, so the past couple months, our old website's pretty outdated. Like anything that's new, it's great when it's new, but after, you know, 10 years, it gets a little outdated. So uh, we updated a whole new website and a whole new store and everything is new and more modern and streamlined. So everything can be found a little bit easier from our installation to uh, service bulletins to things that need to be accomplished to events and so on and so forth. So we have a new updated website. There's gonna be more and more added onto it, but feel free to check it out, give it a look, give some uh, pointers if you'd like. I'm not a website developer, but I try pretty hard. <laughs>